a little chilly, but that sun certainly makes a big difference. Yeah, we yes, had a little does. more sun out there today, and it definitely helped. Mm -hmm. You know, when the sun I is streaming so. through the windows, it's like, oh, it's a nice day. <laughs> Step outside, you're Step like, outside. Yeah, <laughs> let me get back in. Not that nice of a day, but it's not terrible today. Right. Right. It didn't feel blustery and brutally mm -hmm. cold like yesterday. And, you know, we've got another decent day on the way tomorrow, at least to start it off. But after about the noon hour, we are going to be watching for some showers to roll through. Let's take a look at what's happening outside right now. Kind of a nice winter scene there. Just makes you want to you know, put on a hat and a scarf and walk down the street, get some hot cocoa, do some Christmas shopping. This is Bethlehem. You can see the flags are still blowing in the breeze there, but all the Christmas lights are up in the Christmas city. They've got the little Christmas village set up there. If you get a chance to go up and do some shopping, it is a great place to visit this time of the year. Lots of great Christmas lights and trees to look at. Looks beautiful outside right now, but again, the flags are still flying in the breeze. They're not whipping like the flags on the parkway yesterday. Winds are a little bit lighter than they were yesterday, but still a blustery evening. The good news is that the lake effect snow that was blanketing New York State has died down, but we've got this next system to watch. It's producing some light snow showers over portions of Ohio, and this little area of rain, which is kind of mixing with some sleet right now over Iowa, is going to move through for us tomorrow. Notice it is moisture starved. It just doesn't have a lot with it, so not going to bring us much more than just a few showers through the day tomorrow, but it could help us get over the hump as far as our record wet November is concerned. More on that in just a moment. This evening, it's chilly with less wind. The sun just went down. 437, 38 degrees outside through the next couple of hours. And then overnight, once again, we drop down to about freezing, but not quite as blustery. So our feels like temperatures not in the teens anymore. They'll be running pretty close to what the thermometer tells you, turning mostly cloudy though overnight. As we head into the future weather timeline, we'll take you into your Friday morning. Some clouds moving in, and then by midday, that's when we will start to see some showers around 1 o'clock. Maybe mixing with a few flakes in the higher elevations of the Poconos, but otherwise, this is mainly just rain, and it's pretty light here and there. Spotty showers around 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and then after about 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll start to see this clear to the east. How much rain are we talking here? Doesn't look like much. We're talking about a couple hundredths of an inch, but it's only going to take a few hundredths of an inch to get us over the hump as far as our record is concerned. So 0 0.02 on that particular model will fall in Philadelphia. That would almost be worse because that would put us right at 9.05, which would make us one one hundredth shy of the record. We are number two on the wettest Novembers of all time. Number one was 9.06 inches back in 1972. And of course, tomorrow is the last day of the month. Then we start off December with some weekend rain. You can see that rain will arrive by Saturday afternoon, the heaviest Saturday night with lingering showers on Sunday. But Sunday is much milder as well as temperatures surge to the 60s. So tomorrow, 45, mainly cloudy with showers and sprinkles midday. Saturday starts off with some sunshine. After the noon hour, though, be prepared for some rain to arrive. The heaviest, though, will be at night. And then lingering showers Sunday, trying to clear out a bit in the afternoon, and it's warm, 64 degrees. Hanukkah begins at sundown Sunday. Nice day on Monday for the Eagles game, but then it's cold again next week. By Wednesday, we may not make it out of the 30s again. Ooh, okay, it's coming. All right. December's around the corner. That's right. Oh, oh yeah. My. A couple days now. That's right. Thanks, Kate.